Hello everybody, this is Sheila Aliens, and today is October 26, 2011. NASA scientists will be tracking asteroid 2005 YU55 as the space rock safely flies past Earth slightly closer than the moon's orbit on November 8th. Scientists are treating the flyby of the 1,300 foot wide asteroid as a science target of opportunity. Tracking the aircraft carrier sized asteroid will begin at 9.30 a.m. on November 4th. They'll continue to track it for at least four hours each day, November 6th through 10th. At its closest approach, it will be no closer than 201,700 miles from Earth. The 2011 encounter with Earth is the closest the space rock has come for at least the last 200 years. And as we all know, what's happening on November 9th is the first nationwide test of the emergency alert system. On November 9, 2011, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the FCC and FEMA will conduct the first ever nationwide test of the emergency alert system. EAS alerts are transmitted over radio and television broadcast stations, cable television, and other media services. The purpose of the November 9th test is to assess the reliability of the effectiveness of the system as a way to alert the public during nationwide emergencies. There has never been an end-to-end -end nationwide test or a national activation of the system. We need to know that the system will work as intended should public safety officials ever need to send an alert or warning to a large region of the United States. Only a top-down, simultaneous test of all components of the EAS on a nationwide basis can do this. That's just interesting timing considering the asteroid that's going to be passing by us at that time, but maybe there's something to that, maybe not. On a similar note, NASA now has on their front page a little thing about Comet Elenin. Comet Elenin gone and should be forgotten. Comet Elenin is no more. This relatively small comet broke into even smaller chunks of dust and ice, leaving a trail of particles on the same path as the original comet completing its unexceptional swing through the inner solar system. But NASA is the one, they really perpetuated the Elenin conspiracy, if you ask me. The way they shut down the buzz room and everything, they were acting really shady, and if you don't know about it, you might want to look into the NASA buzz room and what happened when they took it down because of Comet Elenin. But yeah. So whatever, I guess that's over and done with. Talk about a PSYOP. And that's about it. Much love. Thanks for watching.